Old girl hasn't been started for a while. <laughs> oh, better fix the mirror. That'll be right. Right, oh, first ride for about seven weeks, I think. Seven weeks, I think. Yeah, it's a long time. I'm feeling sorry for the bike. But I think we're both happy to be out. Sunshine, birds are singing, and I get to clear my head. Yeah. Oh. Find some windy roads. Blow some cold beams out of the old Tannerai, and we'll both be happy campers. Obviously, seven weeks after a collarbone break, I'll be taking it very easy. Just out on the tar, just cruising around. Just was actually keen to give the bike a bit of a run. So, uh, yeah, but bloody good to get out. Itchy gnome syndrome is back again. <laughs> yeah, been working on the ute this morning and um, thought, you know what? Knocked off about mid-afternoon. I think I'll head out and take the bike out. Much to my wife's protests, of course. I'll make sure we keep on our side of the road. Last thing I want to do is come around the corner and find a land cruiser on my side. Yeah, much to my wife's protests, but um, yeah, I'm just coming out for a casual cruise. I've been pretty sensible about the collarbone. Um, got it moving virtually straight away, but uh, certainly haven't loaded it up uh, at all. So I've put myself on light duty, so to speak. But a great believer in getting it moving. So yeah, I'm just going to cruise through the countryside, not going anywhere particular. It was a bit of a last minute thing, as seems to be the the um, theme with me, always sort of last minute, but um, yeah, just thought, oh, you know what, I'll just chuck a set of boots on and a jacket and chuck a couple of things in a backpack and we'll go for a ride. So yeah, a bit of a clear the head ride, we'll call it. But it's actually a funny thing. I walked around to where I keep all my ADV gear and Enduro gear and um, had my three backpacks hanging up on the wall and I went, oh, I want you need this one today. <laughs> and I thought to myself, who would have thought I'd have three backpacks to choose from? But it's sort of evolved, and if you had asked me two years ago that you'd end up with three backpack, I'd say, oh, what are you, are going to be a gear freak, are you? But I can sort of justify it. So yeah, three backpacks. How do I justify that? Well, I think I'm going to get them out when I get home and, and sort of lay them out, but... Uh, Basically, the one I've got at the moment is just a, a very simple Fox uh, one with a, um, a uh, hydration bladder in it. And, um, of course, I've got the Enduro one, which doesn't have a waistband, but just, just sort of hugs your sh chest and shoulders. And, um, yeah, I've ended up with a, um, a Klim one as well for the bigger trip, so it's got separate compartments and um, places for a fishing rod and all that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, don't know. I think I can justify it, to be honest. But like I said, I think I'm going to get them out when I get home, lay them out on the, on the table and explain why. But as for the rest of the day, as I say, I'm going to cruise around and clear my head.
Right, Righto guys, so I'm in the shed now. Um, so these are my three backpacks. Um, obviously, uh, this is the Fox that I have on, but obviously they're three different styles of riding. And you might call me a gear freak, I don't know. You make your judgment and <laughs> place a comment at the end of the video. So this is my enduro backpack. My son gave me this for Christmas and it's an absolute ripper. So obviously it's very critical when you're riding enduro um, that you have the hydration. I've lost my mouthpiece of this one, but I've got to get a new one of those. But this is a, um, a shoulder a shoulder backpack only, so it only goes over your shoulder, it clips in front of your chest. But the idea of that is that it sits very high up on your shoulders, and this sits up under your chin, and so it foot pins to you really tight. And obviously if you're enduro riding, you need a bit of water on the run, and you might not necessarily stop for that long. But it's quite a reasonable size backpack. Um, you can sort of see there that... Um, you know, it's quite a, quite a reasonable size in there. And it's got lots of little pockets and this little sort of area down the bottom here. So that's an OGO. I'll put the name up in the titles uh, on the video. Um, but yeah, that's an enduro backpack. So that's where I go. You can see it's quite filthy. You know, my son and I used to do a bit of hard enduro. I'd go out in the X-Trainer. He had his shirt goes. And uh, yeah, it will obviously get very filthy. <laughs> We'd be rolling around in creek beds and all sorts of stuff. From there, I started riding with 480, so I was looking for a bigger backpack, so what I call an adventure riding backpack. So I did a bit of research, and um, I wanted a, a backpack that was a fair bit more comfortable. I still wanted a hydration bladder, um, and so I ended up going for this Fox. Again, I'll put the model number up on the screen, but this is considerably bigger, but still reasonably slim, so it's not that wide. So when you're sort of riding, it's not sort of getting in your way or getting under your arms at all. It's still a reasonably slim backpack, so a very adaptable backpack. It's got some spots for water holders on here. Again, I've got a hydration bladder in this, um, and uh, yeah, it's got lots of little pockets up front there. But it's mainly the one big apartment, compartment, I've got to say, and just some, some slide-in pockets around that. But a, a fairly generous backpack, it actually holds a lot. It probably holds more than the Klim. But here's the critical thing. Enduro ADV work. When you go to ADV riding, you want hip straps. These things make all the difference. So with your hip straps on, uh, you don't even notice you've got a backpack on. You don't have to have these nipped up too tight. But basically, it just shares the load between your shoulders and your hips. And in fact, your hips will take most of the weight and you don't even notice it's on. I've gone into camp with this on, set my whole camp up, sat down to have a beer and realised that I still had my backpack on, you know. So, uh, yeah, very, very comfortable. But my recommendation, if you're going to be sitting on a bike for fairly long periods of time, then, you know, you need you need the, the, need the waist straps. The waist straps are also good too because they have those little pockets and I use those for GoPro cameras, and, uh, GoPro batteries and that sort of stuff. So I love these little pockets on the side, um, memory cards and that sort of stuff. Again, travelling reasonably light. Um, for ADV work, so your 690s, your AJPs, your, your KDM 500s, what I call ADV works, uh, ADV um, uh, riding, so adventure riding where your bike's under 150 kilos and you might be doing some technical stuff, you know, some really hard tracks and that sort of stuff. But then I bought the um, the Tenere and, um, and I started to think about doing some touring. So this is my touring backpack. So this I use when I'm on the Tenere or most of the time anyway, depending how many nights I'm going. So I started setting myself up to do touring work. I was going to do the Googs track trip with Brendan and that sort of stuff. And so I wanted not necessarily a bigger backpack, but probably just a little bit more of a, um, uh, a versatile backpack. And this, this is a Clem. Again, I'll put the name up in front of the, on the screen there. Um, it's, looks bigger and it probably physically is bigger but it doesn't carry that much more than the fox there you've got these two main compartments um, you can slip a bladder into there but again for a, uh, a touring i'm not going to put a, a hydration bladder in there i'll just stop and take a drink we're generally in not much of a rush so you've got your two main compartments the slip there for the hydration bladder it's designed for um uh, snow shovels for ski rescues this backpack originally so that was the handles of the snow shovels and the head of the snow shovel went in there and that was the um, um the other part of the handle that went in there so this is what this was designed for, but it's most ADV riders reckon they're absolute great. And another little pocket on the front here with lots of bits and pieces of little um, little um, compartments for leather mans and that sort of stuff. And this is quite handy for goggles as well. So you can fit a, fit a full size set of um, motocross goggles in there and probably even a couple of them if you wanted to. So a very sort of a uh, little bit more involved, a little bit more compartmentized um, backpack again. 
hip straps, absolutely critical for long haul. On an ADV bike, you might be sitting on the bike for eight hours, you need these hip straps. And these again, a little bit better padded, a little bit big, bigger pockets on the side. Again, I use these for bandages and toilet roll, uh, toilet rolls and all sorts of stuff like that. And again, my GoPro batteries and that sort of stuff. But the advantage of this Klim is that it's got this tool roll that comes with it. So that's actually the tool roll I use all the time now. I'll put it in that backpack. Not necessarily put it in that one, but I'll certainly take it in that one with me. But what this does is this actual waist strap actually pulls out. You can actually pull that out and that straps onto it and creates a bum bag. So you can take this waist strap out, tie the bum bag on it, and so you've got your tools on board with you. So that's a really good versatile thing if you're base camping and you can sort of say, oh, let's just go for a ride across to such and such. Um, grab a couple of beers and do a loop back and you can just take your tools with you you don't need to take your backpack you're just taking a, a few gopro batteries and a leather man or something like that and you've got your tools in here as well too so that's one of the key versatilities i like about this klim that it's got that ability to create a bum bag with that um, tool roll so yeah they're my three backpacks um i may be a gear freak don't know but certainly i can justify having these three backpacks now Typically in these backpacks, I have all or some of these things, bike pumps, tow ropes. That's just cheap um, uh, uh, rock climbing style rope, but it's got a bit of elasticity. Great for a tow rope, just cheap stuff from Bunnings. Various sizes of first aid kits, um, uh, bigger ones, little ones, just some bandage. Sometimes I take, uh, there's a roll of crepe bandage in there. Um, I might take a bivy if I'm doing some stuff by myself, so a little emergency bivy. That's just uh, means you can have a night's sleep. Uh, obviously, we all take cable ties. We all take tape. I usually take in backpacks just some emergency rations, so just a few muesli bars. Uh, obviously, toilet paper. This is how I do my toilet paper. That's really good. Leather mans, torches. That's a little um, saw for um, uh, cutting things. It, it, uh, what do they call them? Uh, blah, blah, I can't, can't remember the name of them. But yeah, great little saw for just um, cutting logs out of the way on the track and cut, so you don't have to do a U-turn. So that's typically the things I take in the backpack with me. So there you go, guys. Am I a gear freak? You tell me. Three backpacks for enduro, ADV riding and touring. I don't know. You tell me if I'm a gear freak. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll let you go back to the video and we'll, uh, we'll see you out in the trail soon. in here and have a, a bit of a sticky beak here. One of the advantages of backpacks isn't it? You can just chuck something that's valuable out of sight, out of mind. Oh, still a beautiful day. I had my coffee. Better head home. So it's nearly beer o'clock, I'll go say. Oi, on his freaking phone, dickhead. craziness that people are still driving around with their with a phone up to their ear absolute craziness go you good thing go you good thing sixty K Stephen slow down <laughs> Ah, oh, it's nice to get out on a bike and feel the power between your legs. Uh, I'm going to head home now and uh, grab myself a beer. 
and sit and enjoy that warm furry feeling that you have after you've been out riding a motorbike. for watching. I hope to see you out on the trail soon.